Hello and welcome to the SciCut short clip. In this video I would like to show you more new features from the Service Pack 2 of the latest 2017 HiCut version. I would like to start with the advanced function sheet from Sketch. With this latest and advanced function one can open the dialog new sketch and plane and certainly either opens an already existing sketch or one can also create a new sketch out of this dialog where the sheet metal will be created afterwards. In fact, a respective geometry would be created and after one has the geometry done, the sketch will be certainly overtaken. And then we see the next features in this function namely that we have a direct display of the sketch meaning that we can directly see in which direction the sheet metal goes. Of course as long as I haven't overtaken any modification I can change the fitting direction once again and in this case I immediately see in which direction does it go without paying attention to the coordinate system. So I apply the changes and now I created a sheet from sketch and for the next function I would quickly attach the flanges here on the surface so that I can come now to the next new function which relates to the enhancement of the welded corner. In fact you already see some changes in the dialog box and now one has the option to determine the weld corner by various values, right? So to say with one click on number three here, the angle down here is editable consequently. Obviously the respective edges must be selected and afterwards and at any time we can display it or of course save the changes directly. Another thing to pinpoint is that I'm able to go back to the last function with F12 with regards to the edit with the same values here and perhaps here another remark for adapting the bend zone which allows us to create valid corners with different angles. For instance if the surfaces have different angles or perhaps if it is higher than the flange. All these examples are now considered here and thus the bend zone can be adapted respectively. So these were the valid corners and its advancements and next I will talk about the features and the processing. Now we have the option to, for example, let us say, let us add a vent inside. Then there's the possibility that we can simply insert a vent. In the processing and certainly it is displayed as 3D like it has been possible in the second last version of 2017 so to say. I definitely have the 3D here in the processing but there is also another option to say here I want to have the planar representation for moldings and especially a planar symbol from the catalog. This means that in this case um, I just have the 2D information for this vent, not the 3D anymore. So just the 2D lines in accordance with its processing. And these symbols which are from the catalog can be differently pronounced. This means that there is a symbol for the top and a symbol for the bottom where different 2D geometries may be behind each. For instance the top in accordance with the processing it depends on which side I have created them so that I get displayed different symbols. Then 
resumed. It is the simplification of the process development. I have the possibility to enter here the snap radius, which is, for example, 3.5 millimeters, and the system searches from the edge the radius, in this case 3.5 millimeters, which I entered in, and it simplifies everything at the certain point as well as everything within the radius of 3.5 millimeters. The whole thing can be shown with a higher snap radius too. Let us enter, for example, 5 millimeters, and then we see that the corners above for the drainage area are simplified too. Okay, that's all for now. Have a nice day. Goodbye.